something to cut it down to size. This might make a good seat for the snake. No nah, shit, lady. Hmm. Mind if I use one of these boards? Already making some repairs, huh? I like a guy who takes some initiative. Yeah, go right ahead. <laughs> The board is good, but I need some rope. Man, where the hell would I find some rope at? You guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. Been stockpiling, huh? Yeah. If anyone tries to fuck with us, they'll regret it. Well, protecting your people is important, but in my experience, having that many guns around is when people get dangerous. and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it's overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. Nigga, why your fat ass ain't coming out here? Lazy as hell. So how's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay? If we can? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. Why the hell did you have to tell him I thought he was a racist? As if tensions weren't high enough. That's Sorry, right. man. It just it popped out. I mean, you did admit it right to his face. That guy's a piece of shit anyway. <laughs> Relax. You're not making things any better riling him up. Ugh. Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Looks like he's stuck. No oh, sound. Disgusting. Come on, I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? It's dangerous. True, but it's also dangerous to the walkers. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. I don't trust this nigga. These folks are just a land. This place is gonna fall apart, just like everywhere else. <sighs> Maybe you're right. There's another one. I see it. <laughs> nice, nice. You never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. 
Thanks for the rations earlier. It's not easy eating in front of the kids, but it's all that's keeping me on my feet right now. We'll go ask for more to eat after this is done. All right, I can suck it up. Come on, I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off. <coughs> I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> I got you. Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. Yeah. What the? Get to the gate. Get down! You asshole! Jesus! Now Who the fuck is that? No idea. Fuck. Now what? With the fence on that gate, it's our only way out. We are food, you asshole. Behind the tractor. You. Lee, get back here. Get through this fence and back to the house. Ah, shit, that hurts. Damn, bro, that's how my nigga in the show. What happened? Shit, it's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. We're gonna have to move. started attacking from the woods and we got trapped between them and the fence holy shit are, are you okay i heard mark yelling thought y'all were giving me the all clear man i am real sorry oh my lord what happened to you sweetheart it was those bastards in the woods mama yeah i'll be all right once it's out god damn it hurts hey y'all mark oh my god what happened he got shot with an arrow christ are you gonna be okay yeah i'm fine I should just pull it out. Oh no, honey. Come on. Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Well, you must be the best. What kind of shit is this? We ran into some people on the way up here. And That's told you. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. <laughs> killed a bunch of our farmhand. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. What you do about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. 
Christ, maybe you were right about this place, Lee. Oh, yeah. It was just a fluke thing. You can't stop assuming there aren't bad people out there. What the hell do you mean a fluke? It could have happened anywhere. Could have happened to us in the motor inn. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Whoa, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, <laughs> that's real charming, Dad. Where's Ben and Carly? Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Hey, uh, I remember seeing kids in your group, so I went ahead and fixed that swing while you were out. I hope your kids like swings. A swing? Just like at my treehouse. Come on, Doc. Why don't you kids go and play on the swing, huh? Yeah. Thanks. Anytime. We're looking out for you. Fuck these niggas, I don't trust them. If there's not enough room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in shifts. If there's not enough room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in shifts. Hey, Clem, do you like the swing? Yeah, it's fun. Be sure to tell Andy thank you, okay? I will. Will you push me on it? Sure. Happy to push you on the swing. Mind if Clementine takes a turn? All right, Duck. Let Clementine have a try for a bit. Okay. This is so nice, bro. She's crazy. What do you think of the dare? It's pretty. It reminds me of how things used to look before. Yeah, it does. Do you think things will ever get back to how they were? I'm not sure, Clint. I hope so. I hope so, too. How are you holding up, Clementine? I'm okay, I guess. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm just a little worried about Mark. Is Mark going to be okay? I'm lucky out there. It would have been a lot worse. Are you going to find the people who hurt Mark? Man, we have to make sure they don't hurt anyone else. Be careful. I want you to stay lucky, too. Ever since I met you, I've had good luck, so don't worry. Okay. All right, Clem. That's enough for now. Okay. Thanks for pushing me. Of course. It's all yours. Yeah! Okay, Duck. Don't pop a gasket. <laughs> How you feeling, Lee? Look, I'm really sorry you almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you how dangerous it was. No shit. You saw what they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But how? The two of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. Hell yeah. Who the fuck are these people in the woods? We don't Thanks, know. Sir. I think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Save lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. 
So 